So roughly around a year ago, Discord came out with a new feature known as Discord onboarding, which is a way to make it a lot easier for new members that just comes inside of your server to be able to choose which channels and categories that they want to see without you having to manually add a bot and creating self roles. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the entire onboarding process so that way you can take your Discord community to the next level. Okay, so I'm now officially inside of my test Discord server. And so in order for you to set up the onboarding process, you're going to come up to your server settings. And then you're going to want to come under the community tab and you want to select onboarding. So in order for you to actually activate this, you do have to turn your Discord into a community. So we're going to click this box to check it out. And then once you click on it, you're going to be met with five steps. And so from here, what you're going to do is you want to make sure that your raid protection is set for three out of three enabled. What this does is that it makes sure that your discord is protected from any type of raids that's going to be coming in. And so you will get the notification whenever this does happen, either in your logs channel or whatever channel that you have set. And then once that's done, you're going to go back. And then you're going to go under DM and spam protection for the DM and spam protection. What this does is this is allows you to set your verification levels from low to highest. So therefore somebody has to meet these requirements in order for them to be able to not only get in, but to also interact inside of your discord. So for me, I kind of want mine set to highest because I want anybody that's going to come in my server to have a verified phone number. Otherwise, they will not be able to talk. And then for the next part, which is members must accept rules before they can talk or DM, you want to make sure that you have this enabled. This is where you can actually set rules for your Discord. So what you can do is you can click right here where it says get started. And then you can enter in a set of rules. Now, these are just some rules that I have for my server. If you want to copy this, by all means, go ahead and pause this video and go ahead and copy these. And then what you're going to do once you're done, you're going to click save and then you're going to come right here and you're going to enable that. Now, if you want to give a description about these rules, you can go ahead and you can do so right here. And also, if you want to take a look to see what it looks like, you can click on this preview button right here and it will let you know exactly what it's going to look like. So first, they're going to have to verify their phone number and then they're going to have to um, check this box and then press submit in order for them to enter your server. So they're going to have to agree to the rules that you have set right here. Now, the next section is for auto moderation. So what you can do is click on edit here and you can set in any type of keywords that you want blocked or banned. So if you don't want no cursing in your discord, you can put those in there. If you don't want certain content to be shared or if you don't want certain things or phrases to be said, you have the ability to block it right here and discords will automatically block those words from ever being said. They won't even be able to send the messages because the word is blocked. They're gonna have to take that word out in order for them to actually send a message inside of your server. Now, once you set all of your keywords inside of your auto mod, what you can do now is go over to step two. Now in step two, this is where you're going to unlock all the channels and categories for your new members to be able to see when they first enter your discord. So you are going to have to choose at least seven categories and five channels for everyone to be able to see. So for me, I do have my general chat open. I do have the media tabs open as well as the voice channels. And then I do want the welcome section to be open as well. So this is going to give me everything that they are going to be able to see when they first come inside the discord. Once that's done, you're going to go ahead and go to step three. And this is where you can actually set up your pre question. So this is where all of your roles are going to come in at. So make sure that you do have a set of roles already set. If you don't, that's perfectly okay. What you can do is you can just come right over here to your roles. So you can leave this. It's going to save it. You can leave this. You can go inside of roles and you can create any roles that you need. 
so for me i have mods i have my support staff my bots so on and so forth so if you guys want this template i already do have these pre-installed and i will make sure that i have a link down in the description below so that way you guys can actually take this template and you can just utilize it for your server if you're just now creating one so once you have all of your roles completely done you're going to come back to onboarding and then you can just ask any questions so it can be like what do you want to do in this community what kind of games you play do you watch anime or anything that you want to know about somebody so that way you can give them a specific role now once you go through and you put in all the questions that you want you will then be able to see them all right here and now you can actually mark these as required so that way the new members don't just skip all the questions and don't end up getting any roles and then the one last thing which you can do is post join questions that is optional if you want to do that that's entirely up to you it's the same exact process as the pre-join questions so you can ask anything that you want there as well and then what's going to happen is that the members when they join your server that's when they will be asked those questions so once you're done with that you are then going to come over to step four which is going to be your server guide now here this is a new feature that discord added so this is like a little template and it gives like on like a little onboarding pamphlet as to what they can expect for when they're inside their server so getting started they're going to have to complete some tasks so when your members join they can have a minimal of three up to a maximum of five tasks that they're going to have to complete in order for them to get familiarized with their server so what you can do is you're going to come up to set up welcome sign you're going to go ahead and put in your name since you are the owner of the server and then you can put whatever little welcome message that you want right here now this is the welcome message that i have for this server right here so you just basically just give them a small description as to what it is that they're going to be expecting moving forward and then you can press save and it's going to come up just like this so you then going to go ahead and you're going to add in your task so what do you want them to do um, in this case here i want our members to introduce themselves and then they do have to send a message in this channel this is a great way to find out more about the interest of the new members that come inside of your server and help spark conversation not only between you but also with other members as well so we're going to name what do we want them to do please introduce yourself and then we're going to put in a emoji now you do have the option to do an, a regular emoji or upload a custom thumbnail for this we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to do the wave emoji it makes more sense and then we're going to check the box right here that says members send a message in this channel once that's done you can go ahead and you're going to add in your other two tasks now once you have all three of your tasks done what you're going to do is scroll down a little bit and then you'll see that you have one more section for a resource page so the resource page is going to be this right here and so essentially what a resource page is is a channel that you set up to where as members of your community cannot type in they can only read it so for example if you have like an announcements page if you have a, a ticket page or if you have like any kind of events page that you want people to see in but not be able to actually chat in then you can use these as recommended resources so that way the new members know exactly what to look out for so what you can do is you can click on add for these if you have some already set if not you can always come back and you can always add these manually now you can have up to five of these if you want to so if you want to customize these you can either click on edit or you can click on add resource so if i click on edit you will see that it goes to the announcements channel uh, this is legitimately just for announcements i can rename this if i want to and then i can also put in a small description now for step four it does state that they need a custom thumbnail i do have some custom thumbnails so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and place this in here and i'm going to click on save and so this is what it's going to look like whenever i am completely done
okay so i'm now finished customizing the resource page so this is ultimately what it looks like and so once you're completely done with this what you can do is go to the very last step which is review and then you can click on preview and what this is going to do is going to showcase everything that you've done thus far so for example we have three questions what game systems do you play on me personally i play on pc and xbox do I watch anime? I do. And what kind of events are you interested in? I'm interested in tournaments. I want YouTube updates and I want community events. Once I click that, I then have to now agree to the rules that we have set. So we're going to go ahead and click on finish. And then it's going to bring me to my page that we just created, which is our resources and our tasks. So we got resources right here that we can go ahead and we can click on. And then we'll be able to click on the upcoming events as well as our tickets. And so now if we were to come up and let's say we click on this right here, it is going to bring us directly to our introductions page where we then going to have to introduce ourselves. So in order for me to actually show you exactly how this process works, I did have to hop on an alt account because the preview version is not going to show like the bars moving and the task being complete. So I'm going to run through this really quickly. And then I'm going to go ahead and accept this. Now, once I accept it and you look at this bar right here, I could come right here and could introduce myself and I could just say testing and you will see that the bar has moved and then it's going to tell you right here to go to the next section inside of your task so you can click this to just go straight to the channels page and then right here it also tells you to go to the next section which is right here so once all of that's done you will then get this big old congratulations and your new member has officially completed all of their tasks and is now ready to explore your new discord server now, lastly, if you want to go back and you want to edit anything that you've done for your onboarding process, the only thing you're going to do is come back to your server settings, and then you're going to go under moderation as well as community to update those two settings. So if you want to update, let's say, for example, your uh, DM protection or your auto moderation, you're going to come up here to safety setup. And then if you want to update anything as far as your questions, your post questions, or anything you've done for the onboarding process, you're going to come right here and you can update all of that information right here and then you will see that there's an option for preview and with that being said that's how you set up your discord onboarding so i hope this video was very helpful for you and if it was make sure you give this a big fat thumbs up make sure you guys go on ahead and subscribe as well as turning on post notifications so that way you do not miss a single video that gets posted up on this channel and in case if you guys want to know the best bots to add inside of your discord make sure you click on this video right here and i'll give you the top five bots to add inside of your new discord server